a young man will seek to become a photographer within the favelas of Rio, where we will learn about the life of many characters that little by little are being destroyed, but among them a young man who decides to choose the best path, since his dream is not to join any band but to be a great photographer. Welcome to Worth Recap, on this occasion I will summarize City of God, a film that takes us to one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Brazil, the film begins in one of the families from Rio in Brazil where a young man named Se Pequeno orders a group of children to catch a chicken, on the other hand a boy named Buscape tells his partner that he will get a job in the newspaper, in that the chicken appears in front of them, little Zay tells him to turn himself in and when Buscape bends down they all point their weapons in his direction. Learning that a group of policemen are behind them, in which Buscape mentions that a photograph will change his life, adding that in the city of God there is no way to escape. Remembering that when I was a child there was a trio of lazy and armed young men, who called themselves the Tenderness Trio and was made up of Caballera, Ali Kate and his brother Mariko. Moments later a truck arrived gas and the trill stripped the driver of everything, leaving the neighbors to take the tanks, suddenly the police appear and the gang flee changing their shirts and mingling with the children on the soccer field, Buscape he remembers that the family went to the City of God, in search of paradise since they had been left without a house due to landslides in the favelas, but when they arrived there was no light or pavement and there were even no buses. The group then got together planning his next robbery and taking a huge amount to change his life, Buscape mentions that to be a thief it was just having a good idea in his head and this was Davino the youngest of the band, since one night he strategically plans how to enter a hotel, but the rest is not allowed since he is the smallest, telling him to pull the trigger in case the police arrive. The young people enter each room and take the money from each couple they find, suddenly Davino fires the shot and the gang flees in a car, but for some reason they do not find the child. Later finding out that some of the people in the hotel are dead, the young people collide with a bar, so they quickly get out of the car and separate, two of them flee into the forest and Abalera returns, City of God, while a certain Pariba makes a call to the police moments later they arrive and the name tells them where two of them fled. The police arrive at the area and pass right under Ali Kate and Mariko while Caballera and in the City of God and asked one of his neighbors for help. The woman opens the door for him and the young man is amazed to see a girl named Berenice. The next day Ali Kate tells Mariko to leave that life, coming down from the tree and walking towards the church of Ciudad de Dios calmly, the police appear but start to go after another young man who they believe is suspicious, what happened that night in the hotel was the bloodiest of that time. This made each member go your own way, while the police took the life of the young man they were chasing. Learning that he was innocent Alicante became a servant of God Caballera remained hidden in Berenice's house, while Mariko was punished and forced to work with his father selling fish. Helped by his younger brother Buscape, Mariko then pulls out a gun and hides it in front of his brother, asking him to promise never to touch one, adding that from that day on he will sell a lot of fish, on the other hand Caballera manages to win over Berenice by approaching her and kissing her, after what happened at the hotel, the police constantly appeared in the city of God arresting anyone every day, but no one ever confessed anything, three months later, Berenice forces Caballera to go look for work, but he prefers to be in hiding since they are still looking for him for what happened at the hotel, assuring that he did not take anyone's life and even thinks that the police did that to frame them, the young woman no longer he wants to listen to him and tells him that his son will not have a bad father, giving him the choice to go with them or stay alone in that house. On the other hand Mariko began flirting with the woman from Paraiba and one afternoon the man found them both together. So the young man quickly escaped through the window, but the woman did not have the same luck because Paraiba grabbed him with a shovel, Mariko quickly finds his brother Buscape asking for his pants and fleeing the place, Paraiba leaves his house angrily and tells the policeman that Buscape is the brother of the one who I enter the hotel, so they have the child and they make him get into the car, causing him to lose his fish. Hours later the police check Buscape's house and find nothing, his father was so angry that he never wanted to see Mariko again and luckily the police did not find the weapon. Mariko continues to flee finding Davino on the road, the young man they told him to wait for, taking his money and telling him to tell the others that Paraiba was the police snitch, he adds knowing that he will leave the favela, night falls and Paraiba dug a large hole to place his wife, but the next day he was detained because a neighbor notified the police, this caused Caballera and Berenice to flee, stopping a driver so that take it, but to his bad luck the car breaks down, so Caballera goes down to push him, while that was happening to get out of his house and when they see Caballera, 
The police inform them that he is the young man they are looking for, so they they go after him and hurt him, Caballera gets out of the way and minutes later loses his life while Berenice manages to leave the place, Buscape remembers that it would be a huge confusion and a camera with which he fell in love. The years go by and 16-year-old Rock he was already hanging out with a group of friends who did not belong to the favela. He also had a very basic camera and he also fell in love with a young woman named Angelica. Even knowing that she had a boyfriend, her lover Tiago later leaves her and Buscape offers her grass, returning City Ad de Dios and looking for a former friend who was his provider, who also lived in an abandoned house, telling that previously a woman sold grass in that place. Then he sent and approached a young man named Grande, this young man grew up and seeing that the business kicked him out of his own home, later using the neighborhood youth to expand the business, one of them named. Carrot was his best salesman, who rose through the ranks until he became a manager. One day an old friend named Aristotle came to help him out. Help because he had problems, Carrot could not refuse because he owed him a favor, so he gave him a package to sell it for a week. This made Big bothered by telling him to take his life or else he was going to lose it, so Carrot he quickly ended up with his old friend and at the same time he wanted to do the same with Grande, but the police took care of that since they took him away because he stopped paying them. Carrot later realized that that place was very contaminated because for which he left everything in the hands of a friend named Niguino. Shortly after Niguino was visited by Divino, who was already a young man, telling him that now his name was Little Zay, he always wanted to be the head of every city of God, showing us that he was the one who sabotaged the robbery of the hotel by shooting to make believe that the police had arrived. When his companions left he entered the place and began to finish off everyone since he knew that Caballero was not going to allow it and so that they would not arrest him, he escaped from the city of God, working hard with his friend Benet who was always with him. His only problem was meeting someone older than them, in this case Mariko who took the money they collected, but before he left Divino stopped him and took the life, then he continued in that same environment until he was 18 years old and he began to be respected by everyone in Ciudad de Dios. Realizing that most of the bands had more money than him and the reason was because they sold narcotics and I don't know they used to commit crimes like them. But to enter the business they needed money, so he planned to end each gang and keep everything they had, so he visited a shaman who gave him an amulet and changed his name to Little Zay Divino began to take all the territories except for the carrot one, since he was a friend of one of his companions, then he continued advancing and went to the territory of Niguino since you are the one that was left. It is at that moment that they opened the door and he introduced himself as Little Zay, well he manages to save Niguino's life while Buscape sees a weapon next to him. He tries to avenge his brother's death, but in the end he can't do anything, before leaving Little Zay orders Niguino to work for him and when he sees that Buscape tries to leave, he stops him, but spares his life as he is from the neighborhood, Buscape mentions the sales process, first he packed up, in itself it was the most boring thing, but he mentions that with that can make a career in that world, children start running errands, then they are lookouts, then they become salesmen and at the same time there are others who are called soldiers who deal with defense, if someone knows numbers, they take care of the territory and he became the right hand of the boss, in addition the police were paid not to bother them, since Say Pequeño owned almost all of that place there was a lot of peace, this caused the city of God to be filled with many buyers and in the case of B, Escape looked for Carrot to be his new supplier since he was afraid of small Zay. Time passes and Angelica broke up with Tiago and then started dating Buscape suddenly a gang of children called the firecrackers approached them so they were scared they gave him what they were consuming and left that place. Days later Tiago arrives in the city of God to buy drugs, realizing that Bene does not stop watching him and when he leaves, he follows him, approaching him and challenging him to a race. To finish, Bene compliments him on the good clothes he wears and how well he knows how to combine them, giving him a wad of bills to buy for him. Days later Tiago returns with many bags, cheering Bene, who pays him for doing him the favor and converts. In his friend, Tiago then introduces him to his group among which is Angelica and Buscape, who is uncomfortable seeing the young man, since he knows that he is Zay's friend, hours later, Bene meets with his group and everyone laughs when they see him. Dress say Bene liked everyone in the city of God because he made friends with everyone and also paid for everything they consumed, while little Zay only wanted to control everything and eliminate Carrot, Bene then meets his friends and starts dancing with Angelica, suddenly he sees that something strange is happening and it is little Zay who is arguing with Carrot so he stops him. Showing that Carrot respected him more than his friend, on the other hand, 
The boys from the firecrackers entered all the stores, mainly from the carrot territory without knowing which city of God sought to become a safe place, because any problem was solved by little Zay who goes for stake and then ordered to grab two of them telling them where they want him to hit them. The children tell them in the hand but little Zay hits them on the feet causing them to scream in pain, then he orders stake. To finish with one of the two, and when he finishes, they send the survivor to notify his companions, time passes and little Zay begins to win the hearts of the people of the favela while Bene begins to win the heart of Angelica and Buscape ends up being left alone, time passes and Buscape got a job in a supermarket and since it paid him very little, he hoped that he would they fire him so that he can be compensated and with that he gets a better camera. But to his bad luck the firecrackers appear in that place and the guardian discovers them, when they are taking the groceries, the children manage to escape but Buscape is fired without giving him any compensation, arguing that he is an accomplice of the children because they belong to his favela, realizing that honesty is not rewarded, Buscape returns home and takes out his brother's gun to commit a robbery. Then on a bus with his friend he shows him what he is carrying and telling him that. He plans to take all the collection from him even though they know he also lives in the city of God. The man sees him and begins to advise them, telling them to study and leave City of God M showing himself as a very kind and peaceful man, he also tells him that he was in the army and the best shooter and combatant and all this makes Buscape discouraged in doing so, but before he mentions that the man is called Main Galinha and in the future he will need him a lot. Then they get out of the car mentioning that the man was a good guy and when they see an empty bakery they try to take advantage, but everything gets frustrated when the person who answers is a nice girl and also leaves them her number. When leaving a man stops him asking for help to reach his destination, the friends are happy because they know they know their chance. A while later the police find a body in an abandoned area and suddenly Buscape with the driver and his friend pass by the man then puts on music and invites them a couple of packages so the friends change their minds, the police officers find the victim and her baby with life nearby. Mentioning that the cause can only be from City of God, preparing to go to that place, meanwhile little Zay constantly punishing the crime since the police are in that place because of him, Benet then gets up telling his friend that he already gave him what he deserved and released him, managing to save the young man's life, little Zay then tells him that being can be dangerous for him, ordering him to prepare to go for carrot Benet ignores him and only tells him to look for a girlfriend, the next. Day Angelica and Bene wake up in a hotel the young woman proposes to leave there for a farm. And at night little Zay gets ready to go to a party, Bene was very good to continue with that life, so he organized a big party inviting a lot of people, even little Zay who had never danced, the young man takes advantage and a girl comes up inviting her to dance, but she does not accept since she has a partner. This makes him uncomfortable making him go for his friend and I tried to convince him not to leave and when he didn't get it he went for the partner of the girl he invited to dance and ordered her to take off her clothes while he pointed at her. Meanwhile Tiago arrives with a friend to sell him a Bene camera, this one he tells him no, but Angelica convinces him, telling him that Buscape would go crazy for her, Bene buys it and then calls Buscape to give it to him, while Naguino, the young man whose territory was previously taken away begins to see little Zay from afar and pee little by little he gets closer. Little Zay observes Buscape's friendship towards Bene, so he decides to get closer, taking the camera from him and throwing it to the ground, Bene trying to take it away without realizing that Naguino is very close to them, and suddenly pulls the trigger. Causing Bene to fall, little Zay quickly calls for an ambulance, but suddenly he realizes that his friend is lifeless. So he is filled with rage and yelled, Naguino then went to look for Carrot to help him, telling him what he had just done and telling him that little Zay is alone on the dance floor but Carrot tells him that he killed the best person in City of God by killing him. Carrot was worried and only hoped for a miracle since any moment the little boy was going to reach his territory. But something happened because on the way the little boy met a young woman and began to bother her. Following her until she met her boyfriend Main Galinha who was the most handsome in the City of God. Compared to him who was the ugliest, this filled him with rage, which took advantage of the young woman while forcing Main Galinha to observe the scene, Main returns home and tells his parents that he can no longer look girlfriend while little Zay continues on his way, but changes his mind and goes in search of Main to finish him off. His family holds the young man so that he does not come out and without anyone noticing his brother comes out with a knife in his pants telling him to Zay who wants to talk with him, being close to him, he takes out his weapon and attacks him but his gang quickly finish off the young man, then they shoot at the house, also killing Uncle Zay, then he leaves, telling his gang that only his arm was hurt, 
also postpones the invasion of Carrot's territory, Ming Galinha then goes out and sees what Zhang caused, people begin to get closer. Carrot also appears and gives him a weapon to defend himself, Ming arrives furious where small Zay is healing and pulls the trigger var sometimes scaring the whole gang and ending up with one of them, people then approach him and thank him for defending them, the next day little Zay walks around inside his lair with his gang, then he sends a message to Carrot telling him that if he ends with Maine they will not invade his territory. Maine listens to the message and Carrot tells him that if he does not join them he will be alone, Maine Galinha accepts on the condition that he does not take the life of any innocent. Carrot agrees with him, but also gives him a weapon so they can get money, Maine refuses but for fear of not being able to take revenge he ends up accepting, in the first round Maine Galinha saves a vendor when Carrot is going to finish him off. In the second jump Carrot saves Maine's life, realizing that sometimes there are exceptions. In the third round the exception is handled by Maine with all the money collected they could prepare to face small Zay, night comes and the young people they get. Ready for the confrontation, the fight begins. But the members of the gang were not good with weapons compared to Maine Galinha, who as we know had been in the army, so little Zay decided to attack, Buscape felt that everything had fallen apart. He was going to return to hell. So he took his things and left that place, starting his career as a journalist from below, on the other hand, what seemed like revenge turned into a war, this divided the city of God in two areas, where everyone had the freedom to choose which side to join, after a while Tiago went to that little boy to look for work. Since he is in a deplorable situation, a year passed and everything remains the same, one night later after a confrontation, Maine finds Bistek's lifeless body, suddenly someone hiding in the dark shoots him, the next day the news mentions that Maine Galinha was captured and is in the hospital. In his statement he mentions that the police are covering all that small Zay does, but the sergeant denies it. Promising to arrest the two gangs from City of God, small Zay is now angry because only Maine. Galinha appears in the newspaper. So he takes the camera out of a trunk de Bene and orders them to take photos and seeing that they cannot use it Tiago goes for buscape, the young man arrives and makes the camera work, taking several photos of him. Then he tells them to develop them and when he tries to take the role to take it away Zay Peck Dream stops him telling him to take everything because the camera was given to him by Bene. The young man leaves happily and asks his friend to reveal them and enlarge them but he does not. Except since they are not from the newspaper. In that the director arrives and gives him his story adding the of buscape and while they are revealed one of the workers observes the photos and takes them, the next day Zay's gang appears on the cover and buscape is worried since he is sure that they will take his life. So the next morning he goes in search of the woman who took her photos arguing with her and mentioning that her life is in danger. The woman defends herself by telling him that the photos that are in the laboratory are for publication, adding that she will pay him for all the ones she used. The the director intervenes and finds out that Buscape's dream is to be a photographer, so he tells him that he has been lucky since his photo is on the cover, later asking him where he got them, Buscape tells them that they are from the place where he lives, so they he asks me more photos assuring him that they will pay him since no one can enter that place, on the other hand Zay is happy since his photo has appeared in the newspaper. He also tells him in chief, meanwhile Buscape agrees to be the photographer and they give him a better camera. He also stays with one of the workers since they have nowhere to sleep, having their first time, while on the other side of the city there was a similar scene since Carrot took Maine Galinha out of the hospital while the nurse entertained the guard, Zay's small attempt invest a lot to kill Carrot. But when he meets the seller, he gets upset because I didn't carry the weapons he asked for, ordering him to leave and leave all his weapons. The man leaves worried, but in reality little Zay is the one who should be, since he did not know that there was a supplier behind that man. The man takes the police to the place and before entering they take his life so that he does not give them away and then they go for small Zay. Now we return to the initial scene, the chicken escapes and the children are ordered to catch it, Buscape and his friends come across it and are ordered to catch the animal, in that they all get ready because they see the police in front of them and when they see that they are too many decide to retire. He takes advantage and asks Buscape for a photo but they are interrupted by Maine and his group who begin to attack everyone causing a fight between the two gangs, then a truck with gas arrived and little Zay stops it to escape from the place while Buscape take advantage of taking several photos, Maine points Zay's car and ends with his driver causing the truck to crash. Carrot realizes and tells Maine that at that moment he is trying to help a child, showing us that he was the one who previously injured him since he was looking for revenge because Maine Galinha killed his father in the bank. Maine gets up to leave him and the boy goes to him again, 
but this time both lose their lives, the police manage to arrest Carrots and Little Zay, while Buscape continues taking photos of everything and then he follows the policemen to see where they are taking the gang bosses, noting that halfway they stop and take Zay out taking him to another place and asking for all the money he has. Then they leave him saying they will be back for more little Zay is filled with rage because he has been left. With nothing, ordering the children to enter the stores to get their money back. But they ignore him and end up taking his life, telling him that now the territory belongs to them, Bus Cape then walks up to Zay and takes a few photos of him before leaving, then chooses between the photo of Zay and the policeman mentioning that with the first one he will have a job, but with the other he will be famous so he chooses the first one, getting the job as a photographer. Meanwhile the children group together to think which store will be next, they also debate who will be their next victim, Buscape ends by mentioning that his name is now Wilson Rodriguez and he is now a photographer. Thus ending the film, the explanation at the end gives us understanding that one can grow up anywhere but the life they want to lead is in the hands of each one, Buscape chose to improve himself and live a peaceful life outside the environment of the favelas, seeing how the young people and children who entered that world were destroyed. No one can escape alive so the only solution is to get out of that place. Throughout his life Buscape saw his brother pass by and many boys who destroyed his life to enter that world, they had the opportunity to change and they didn't. Showing us in the end that another generation begins so we conclude that this world will never end, a film to become aware and see that we are all free to leave the place that destroys us and start a new new life away from problems. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe to see more videos like this. If you wanted to see more, I recommend